Hello and welcome to today's Bitrix 24 webinar, Next Level CRM. Thank you for joining today. Okay, so we'll just go through some introductions first of all. So my name's Sam Connor. I'm part of the sales engineer team here at Interface. Uh, we're Bitrix 24 Gold Partners. So we specialize in the Bitrix 24 CRM system. We're based in the UK, the US and Hong Kong, and we offer a full range of services to assist you with Bitrix 24. So starting off with pre-sale support. So what we can do is discuss your requirements in detail, see if Bitrix can be a good fit for what you're trying to achieve. And if it is, we can provide a full implementation service to onboard you with the Bitrix 24 system. If you are interested in the self-hosted edition of Bitrix, then we can provide our own hosting service for you. If you're not wanting to host this yourself on either a local server or your own private cloud, and we then also provide ongoing dedicated support to help businesses get the most possible value out of the Bitrix 24 system. And if you have maybe come to today's webinar to actually get some more information about Bitrix, if, if you're currently evaluating the system, let's just go through actually what Bitrix 24 is. So Essentially, Bitrix 24 is a collaboration suite of well in excess of 35 different tools that you can use to help you to manage your business. And specifically today, we're going to be looking at the CRM features. And there are an awful lot of features that are available in the Bitrix 24 system. Now, there are over 12 million businesses around the world that use the Bitrix 24 system, and the CRM module is the most popular module within the Bitrix application. So it's an incredibly powerful tool, and we'll look at all of the, the functionality in the CRM system today. Now, in terms of where Bitrix 24 CRM system ranks, it is voted within the top 10 CRM systems globally each year. And the system is available in two different editions. So we have the Bitrix 24 Cloud and we have the Bitrix 24 self-hosted system. So there aren't many self-hosted CRM systems out there. So if you are looking for a self-hosted CRM system, Bitrix 24 is definitely a solution that you should be looking at. And in terms of pricing, so prices start from around $49 per month for a cloud-based system. So that's starting on the, the basic cloud system. If you're wanting to, to really get power out of the CRM system, you should be looking at at least the professional cloud license. And that starts at $2,388 per annum. And if you're looking at a self-hosted edition, so that starts off on the business 50 license, that's there at priced at $2,990 for the first 12 months. And then in year two and ongoing annually, you have to pay uh, the subscription renewal fee for the self-hosted system. And that is gonna cost you approximately 25% of the original license fee cost. So you're looking around $747.50 in year two and ongoing annually if you have a business 50 self-hosted license. Okay, so today's webinar is next level CRM. So we're going to be really focusing on the CRM functionality within the Bitrix 24 system. But before we go into have a look at the, the functionality, it's important just to understand why you should use Bitrix 24 as your CRM system. So there are many different pieces of functionality inside Bitrix. It's not just the CRM module. As we can see here, there is marketing automation. So we can send out campaigns and automated communications to your prospects to try and drive them through the sales cycle. We can capture and qualify leads very quickly and work your way through your sales pipeline. And with the pipelines, it is incredibly customizable. So we can set up the stages, set up the fields and the automations that you want for your CRM system. So it's not a CRM system where you have to adapt to what the CRM does. 
the Bittrex CRM really can be completely customized for your way of working. And we have integrations such as email and calendar integration. So you can really build a 360 degree picture of the activity with your customers. And then once we have all this data set up, we can really monitor teams effectiveness of the sales cycle. So we can do forecasting reports and build your own dashboard reports using the analytic features inside the CRM system. Okay, so what we'll go through in today's webinar, here are a breakdown of the topics that we are going to look at. So first of all, we're going to look at tools to generate leads. We'll then go through an, an overview of the CRM system in some more detail. So we'll go through each entity and see what that entity does within the CRM. We'll then go through a run through of a, a case study. So we'll see how we can capture a new lead in the system and progress that through our completely customizable sales cycle. And then we'll then have a look at reporting as well. So we'll take a look at some of the high level reporting tools inside our CRM system. And if there are any questions as we go through the webinar today, please do add them into the question box and we can run through those during the intervals of today's webinar. Okay, so first of all, let's just understand some of the functionality that we have inside our Bitrix 24 CRM system to generate leads because it's a very important aspect to, to start the sales process. So first of all, we can bulk import leads, okay? And, and that's really important if you're coming from another CRM system or if you currently use Excel, which a lot of companies still use Excel and they then come to the Bittrex CRM to really upscale and get more out of a, a structured sales process, you can import that data. Okay, so we can import via CSVs into Bittrex. We also have live chat, so we can embed a live chat tool onto your website or on multiple pages, and that can then generate leads automatically for us in the system. And it's the same for social networks, so Facebook and Instagram. People can message you on those platforms. Those have to be business accounts, so a Facebook business account or a face, uh, an Instagram business account. But when people communicate or say comment to you on that, that can then automatically create a lead. A really popular functionality here to generate leads is website forms. So you can create forms in Bittrex, embed them onto your web pages. So let's say you have an inquiry form. You can fill in the information on that form and it can then automatically create a new lead inside the CRM system. And then once it, when it does that, we could use automations to then automate a, a thank you email to that lead and then generate an activity for the sales rep. So you can see how you could start to automate the sales process using these tools. We have telephony. So telephony, you can integrate. There's a few different options or you can rent a Bittrex number, which is the easiest way out of the box. So when somebody calls up, if that number is not registered in the CRM system, it can create a brand new lead for you. We have sites. So this, the site's essentially like a, a landing page. So we can create sites really popular for marketing campaigns. So when people, uh, maybe you send a, a CRM marketing campaign to, so here we've got CRM marketing where you can design a campaign. You could have a link to a landing page, which is the site. And then from there, you could have a web form set up so they could then input their information, which could sync into the CRM system. So you can see how we can connect a lot of these different tools together to generate more leads inside the system. But also very popular is ad adding a manual lead. So if you're maybe out in the field, you want to manually add a new lead into the system, we also have the ability to add those leads into here as well. Okay, so what we will do now, let's just go into our Bittrex 24 system. Just want to have a look at some of that functionality in some more uh, detail. So inside the CRM system, if we go into the contact center, here we can see some of those lead generating tools in more detail. So here we can see, for example, the Facebook 
communication integration. So we can connect your Facebook business pages into Bittrex. Uh, so from here, this could be either a comment. So if someone leaves a message as a comment on your posts, or if somebody comes into the messenger system, that can then automatically feed the communication into your Bittrex 24 system. So we can see here, somebody has sent a message into our Facebook messenger system, and then that has automatically generated a lead inside the system. And we can then reply to that lead directly through our chat portal. Okay, so the, the team there can then respond to that and start to have a live conversation with that prospect through the Facebook Messenger system, but you're able to communicate directly through your portal here. And then we can also answer calls directly through here with the telephony integration as well. Okay, so that's a look at one or two of the communication channels we can connect to generate leads inside the system. And we can also set up live chat. So if you want to have a live chat system on your website, we can embed that. Uh, and what's really useful with all of these different channels, you can decide who those conversations are routed to. So if you have a live chat set up on your website, we could see here there are three people that those conversations can be routed to. But we might say for the Facebook integration, we have a, a different team who manage our Facebook communications and posts. So we can set up different people who are then responsible for dealing with the Facebook Messenger conversations. So it's very customizable to how you, you struct, structure your, the contact center teams in your system. And we mentioned about using the marketing module. So with the system, then we have the ability to also send out marketing campaigns through here as well. So if we just go into the marketing module, then what we can see here is we have the ability to create different types of campaigns inside the system. So if we have a look here, first of all, we can see we have an email campaign. So what we could do is design a new campaign inside the system. Okay, so if you have any questions here, please do add them into the question box and we can run through those during the intervals of today's session. But first of all, if we click into here to design a campaign. Okay, and so we can see here, this opens up the campaign designer play page. Uh, we can see here then the campaign designer. So it's very similar to other systems so, such as MailChimp, for example, but you could use this system for our campaign designers. Okay, so first of all, we can design our campaign. Uh, and then through here, we can add our text. We can upload our images like so. So we can really customize our marketing campaign to your specific requirements. So you can really customize this to, to display the type of marketing material that you want to send to your prospects to try and convert leads into genuine sales opportunities. So if we just go through here, so we can design the campaign. You can also add different blocks. So I can go into here and maybe add some code, or if I wanted to upload different images, then I could add those images into the system. And then through here, what I can then do is I can decide who I want to send this marketing campaign to. So first of all, I can preview what this looks like on different devices. So here I can see what this campaign looks like on a phone, on a tablet, and also on a desktop as well. So you can see exactly how that's going to look for different devices for the, for the leads that you are sending the campaign to. And then what we can do is we can choose who we want to send the campaign out to. So you might want to send this out as a blast campaign to all of the, the contacts or leads in your system, or you might want to send this out to a very targeted segment. So what you can do is, is you can choose the data point from the CRM system to send the campaign out to. So for example, I might just want to send this campaign out to all of the leads of a certain source, 
for example. So maybe if they're coming from a phone call or from the website, but also I might just want to send these based on the source and only if they are at the new lead stage. So on here, what I can then do is I'm sending this campaign out to only a lead who's at the new lead stage and they have to have the source of either being a phone call or from the website. So we're sending this campaign out to a very targeted group of people. And from that campaign, we could then send them to a site with a web form, and then they could fill in their information and we can progress the lead through the sales process. So the marketing system here, really powerful to try and engage with your leads and try and get those leads converted and progressed through the sales stages for your sales process. Okay, so that's a look, just a, a few of the, the tools we have to help you to generate leads inside the system. So it's really powerful to use such as live chat, web forms, the marketing system to generate those leads and really try and help you to progress those leads through the system as quickly as possible. Okay, so what we'll do next is we'll go into the CRM system and we'll have a look at a very high level overview of the different modules inside the CRM. And we did have a question earlier on about leads and deals. Uh, it was a question about if you have to use leads inside the CRM system, because there are businesses out there where every new inquiry is essentially a genuine business opportunity. So you can get rid of the lead entity if you like. We have a, a two different modes inside the CRM system. So we'll have a look at those modes now. So let's go into the CRM system. Okay, so if we go into the CRM system, first of all, just to explain what we can see here. So this is the lead database. So leads within the Bittrex CRM system really are for new inquiries. And we use the lead feature to qualify those inquiries. We need to see if they are a genuine business opportunity that we are wanting to work on it and really spend a lot of time and resource to try and close a sales opportunity. So if I submitted a form from your website and uh, you'd never heard of me before, you, you should be qualifying me and, and gaining an understanding as to whether there is a genuine opportunity to close some business with me. So that's what we do inside Leads. We use it to qualify our inquiries. And there's two different ways we can view leads. So the, here we can see the list view. So I can see all of the leads inside the CRM and I can see what stages the leads are at here. But we also have the Kanban view, which is a really nice view to have because what we can then see in the Kanban view, the stages here are across the top. And what I can do is I can progress my lead through the different stages like so. So it's a really nice UI to be able to progress the leads through the system. And in this view here, you can customize again what information we want to show on our table here. So if I want to actually, I could customize the fields that I want to show on our Kanban card here. So if I wanted to pull in more information or maybe get rid of some other information that's maybe not required, I can customize the whole UI here on the Kanban card. So it just shows how flexible and customizable the CRM system is in Bittrex. So we can progress our leads inside here. Now, if we just click into a lead, then what we can do inside here, inside the lead page, we can see all of the information about the lead, okay? So on the left-hand side, we can see all of the contact details of the lead, and you can create additional sections. So if you wanted to have some additional information, let's say if we needed to store some finance information, we could create a section here. And then you can create custom fields to capture specific information or data on your leads. So this is where the, this, the Bittrex CRM system becomes really powerful because you can create as many fields here as you need for your sales process. So we might want to store some monetary information or numbers, then we can set those up inside the system.
Okay, so we can set up those custom fields like so. And then we can capture that information inside the system. So it's really flexible to store information that you need to have on your leads. And then on the right hand side here, we have what we call the activity stream. So if we integrate emails, for example, I can see all of the email communications that have taken place with the lead directly inside the lead page. And that's a two way integration. So you could continue to use your external mailbox and it can sync those emails into the system or you could send your emails directly through Bittrex and then we can send those out through the system like so. So you can really customize how you want to use your email integration, it's up to you. And then we can see any other activity as well. So we could see any notes or comments so I can add more comments about the lead. And I can tag my colleagues into those comments as well. So essentially, Inside the lead area, you can store all of the information associated with that lead. You've got a centralized, complete 360 degree view of all of the data. And we have another really powerful feature inside leads, and that is automations and triggers. So what we can do as we progress the lead, through the different stages of the lead process. So as we mentioned here, we've got new lead, arrange call, follow-up call, et cetera. Those stages are completely customizable to what your sales process would be. But what we can do at each of those stages is we can set up automations. So whether that's communicating with the lead via email, for example, so as soon as the lead comes into the system and hits the new lead stage, we could automatically create an email that goes out to the lead. So we can dynamically populate this with information from the CRM system. So I could pull into here the lead's name and type out my email template. OK, so you can add really the, the static information and then we can dynamically populate it with information from the CRM system. So we could add an email into here and you can run this as and when you require. So this automation right now, we're going to run as soon as the lead comes into the CRM system. But you might say, for example, that maybe after 10 minutes, for example, or maybe after one day. That's when the automation should be triggered. So something to bear in mind, you can completely customize what time frame that automation is then sent out through your CRM system. But this is a really powerful area of Bittrex24. We can automate communications to the lead, or it could be, for example, creating activities for the sales rep. So it could be here, for example, we can see an activity where the set responsible person for the lead is going to be calling the lead. So it's going to create an activity inside the CRM system for the responsible person. So it can really start to automate all of the activities that need to take place to try and close the lead through the sales cycle. And to have automations, you need to have at least a standard cloud license. So if you're on the free edition, or if you're on the basic cloud, you're not going to have access to this functionality. You need to have at least a standard cloud license. And then we've got a filtering system as well. So you can easily filter through and find any leads through your CRM system. And this is the case across all of the entities of the CRM. But once we progress the lead through the system, hopefully it's been qualified. Uh, we can see it's a genuine business opportunity. We can then convert this lead into another entity inside the CRM system. So what we could do is convert this into a deal because we can see we've qualified the lead. There is a sales opportunity. So that a sales opportunity would always be managed inside the deal. And then if we have the contact and a company information, we can create those entities inside the system as well. And by creating a deal, we can then choose a pipeline to segment that deal into. So you can select there and create your own pipelines to segment your sales opportunities. And that's really useful, as we'll see in a second, because within each deal pipeline, you can completely customize the stages and the automations for every single pipeline 
that you have. Okay, so that's a look at leads, and now let's go into our deals. Okay, so here we have our deal database. So this is where the genuine sales opportunities are worked on. So we can see here, let's go back into the Kanban view, because here again, you've got the list view, but also the Kanban. And the Kanban is really nice because here we can see what value of a forecast we have at every single stage of the sales process. So as I progress a deal through those different stages, it's going to automatically update the value at that stage. So you can really use that information for your forecasting purposes. And we can see with the deal pipelines, so we create our own stages to progress the deal through. If I go into another pipeline, the stages are completely different. The automation rules can also be completely different. And so can all of the fields. So you have complete control to customize every single pipeline inside the system to your specific requirements so it could be if you are going to use deal pipelines for different maybe products or services that you sell then what could be really useful is is creating pipelines to reach each product and if you have a different sales process for each product you can customize the stages for every single pipeline now inside the deal then inside here again you can customize the layouts of information like so so you can really configure this to your specific needs and inside here we can see the contacts and the companies connected with the deal and um, through here we've got a product catalog so inside here you can add products from your product catalog or so you can add a value to be associated with the deal and once we have products stored on the deal then what we can do is we can generate documents such as quotes or invoices directly inside the system. So I can go into our quoting area and I can click on the quote button here and then I can pull in all of the information from the deal. So here, this is going to pull in the product and all of the information for the clients connected with the deal. And then through here, what I can do is I can create the documents that I want to use to generate a quote. So Bittrex has a document generator tool. So you can upload your own static information. And then from there, what you can do is you can generate your own documents by mapping information from the CRM system. So it's really customizable. You can add your own branding and logos onto your documents, and then we can map the information onto the document. And then I can send this out to the customer. I can download this. I could send the quote out via email. So essentially the whole quoting process can be managed directly through the CRM system. Now, if you are going to generate quotes, then again, you can create different stages that you progress the quote through. So just like on leads and deals, you can do the exact same for your quotes. And I think what's really nice here is you can create automations on quotes and invoices as well. So for example, here, when we're on the waiting on client stage, what I can do is, for example, here in four days time, if we're still at this stage of the quoting process, then we've got a notification to go to the responsible person of the quote to get back in contact with the client to see if they want to proceed with the quote. And if we're still at this stage in 10 days time, we've got an email set up, which is going to go to the client, trying to chase them to decide if they want to proceed. So you can see how using the automations features inside the CRM can be incredibly powerful to try and help you to close your sales inside the system. And then once that quote has been approved, we can then go into here and generate an invoice. So again, we've got a quoting entity and an invoice entity inside the system. OK, so that's a look at our quoting and invoices, and that's all then connected back to the deal. And now if we go into our contacts area for our customers, if we go into the contact database, here is where we can store a record of every single one of our contacts associated to our organization. So here we can see a record for every single contact. And then in here, again, you can create custom fields to capture specific information or detail 
on those contacts. So here we can see their location, maybe what type of contact they are. So if you wanted to segment your contacts, you have the ability in Bittrex to do so. And then if we go into the contacts, on the left-hand side, <coughs> you can see all of the details about the contact. And we can see here the company that the contact is associated to. Now, with this, you can associate a contact to multiple companies. So if the contact maybe works with different organizations, we could pull in multiple companies here. And then on the right hand side, we have the activity log. So this is where all of those integrations from the contact center come into play. So I can see all of my emails. I can see any activities that are scheduled with this contact. I can click into here and view all of the communications through chats. So essentially every single contact point that we have with the contact, we can see all of that history inside the contact page. And you can filter through this as well. So if you wanted to find specific information, you can filter through this and find all of that information through the filtering tool. So that's a really powerful way to really drill down into any of the data from the CRM system. And we've seen how we can generate deals, quotes and invoices. Now inside here, we have this complete connection. So I can click into this contact and I can see all of the deals that this client is associated with. So I can see currently what's in progress. I can see what's already been worn and I can click into any of these deals and it will open me up to that deal page. So it's only one click and you're straight down to that very granular sales information that the client is associated with. And we can then see also all of the quotes and invoices as well. And it's exactly the same if we go into the company database. So if we go into our companies area, the key difference here is we can see if I click into one of our companies, then what we can see here is the multiple contacts that are associated to the company. So you can in here associate multiple contacts inside the company page. And again, I can see all of the connections of deals, quotes, and invoices. And what's nice here as well is if we just pull up our sales records. So again, you can see you can hide information if you don't want it to display. So you can really simplify the UI. We could go into our quotes and invoices database and I can now see all of the quotes across the CRM system and what stages they're at. So you've got a record as well for every single quote and invoice inside the system. Now, those are the key entities of our Bittrex 24 CRM. So we've got leads, deals, contacts, companies, quotes, and invoices. But what Bittrex 24 have done very recently is that they've really taken the CRM system to a next level. And the way they have done this is a feature here called Smart Process Automations. So it's also called SPAs. And Essentially, what the smart process automation feature allows you to do is it allows you to create brand new entities inside your CRM system. So if I was to click on to create here, what I could do is I could now enter a title for a new entity that I want to add into the CRM system. So this really gives you an incredible amount of power to customize the Bittrex CRM system to your specific needs. So if you, you find maybe leads, deals, contacts, companies, maybe that's not enough for you. Maybe within your business model, there are other entities that you need to add. Then using the SPA feature, it allows you to build those entities into your CRM system. Now, to use this feature, you have to have at least a professional cloud license. So all of the self-hosted systems have this feature, but if you're on a free basic or standard cloud plan, you're not gonna have access to this SPA feature, okay? You need to have at least a standard cloud license. But then what we can do when we create those entities in the CRM system, you can then select how you want to integrate that entity with the existing entities in the CRM system. So I might say, for example, this new ent 
entity I'm creating, I might want to connect this with all of our deals inside the CRM system. So you can really start to customize how those new entities talk with the existing information that you have inside the CRM system. So I just want to show you an example. If we go back into the contacts inside our CRM system, then one way you could use the SPA feature is if in your sales process, when you've sold a product, if you need to have a way to manage any returns or faulty products inside the system, within the standard Bittrex functionality, there isn't a returns area. Really, you would have to use the deals and have a pipeline for returns. But now with the SPA feature, what you could do is you could create a brand new returns entity. So inside here, I could manage any returns of, of a product and I can connect it back to the individual contacts. So I can see here, Sam Moon, here are the two products that Sam Moon has returned to us in the system. And I can see what stage each of those returns is at. So if I click into that record, very similar to leads and deals, for every entity that you create, you can create stages to progress that particular record through, and you can create the custom field. So for this return, I can see the return start date, the value, some extra details about the return. So we can see some more information about what the problem was with that return. And we can then also set up automation rules. So we we'll say this return is going through the process. So when, when we move this return to return in progress, we're automatically sending out an email to the client acknowledging the return is in progress and that we're going to be processing this as soon as possible. So it has very similar functionality in terms of stages and automations, but it allows you to create that brand new entity inside the CRM system and connect it back to existing entities inside your system. And another functionality we have as well within the system is a help desk module. So this is only available with the on-premise self-hosted edition of Bittrex. But what we have here within the CRM system, what we can now do is we can generate help desk tickets and it connects with the CRM system. So here we can see in our help desk module, I can see all of the current tickets that we are progressing through our support team. And there's three different ways we can create help desk tickets in the system here. So the first way is we can connect a mailbox. So if you had like a support at mailbox, we can connect that mailbox into Bittrex. And when an email is submitted to that mailbox, we will automatically create a brand new help desk ticket inside the help desk module and it will connect with the contact from the CRM system. And then we can progress the ticket through our help desk process. So you can customize this to your specific requirements. Uh, we can then set up the stages and the automations for your help desk support process. So the second way we can submit tickets is via a form. So a client could submit a ticket via a form or your support agents could manually create a ticket inside the system. So if we just go back into the CRM and let's go back into our customer records. So if we go back into a contact, then we can see inside here, if we click into one of our clients, again, we have a help desk module connector. So I can see inside this client page, I can click into help desk tickets, and here I can see all of the tickets that are being processed for this customer. And if I want to choose through here, I could then create a new help desk ticket. So if I may be on the phone with the customer, myself as a support agent, I could create a new help desk ticket and that would feed into the help desk module. So we have that help desk module that allows you to create support tickets and it connects directly with the front end of the CRM system. And, and the help desk system, as I say, that is only available with the self-hosted edition. But it just goes to show really how we can customize the Bittrex CRM system to give you a complete 360 degree picture of all of the sales information, but also any other type of record you may want to attach, such as returns, such as help desk tickets, 
all of that information can be connected to give you that 360 degree view inside the system. Okay, so that is a look there at our modules. So smart process automation is available, as I say, on at least the professional cloud license. It's a really powerful tool and it just takes the CRM system really to that next level of customization. But if we now go through a case study, so if we take a look now at how we could trigger a lead inside the system. So we've seen at the start of today's webinar, there's a lot of different ways we could automatically create a lead inside the system. And one of those ways is via a web form. So here we can see a form that we have, and that could be embedded onto a web page. So we've got some information here about the lead and we've chosen maybe the type of inquiry that they have. And that will then generate a brand new lead inside the CRM. Okay, we can see we've been notified that this new lead has been created. So now we can start to engage with this lead and try and progress it through the system and close it and with our information. So we can see the lead has come in to the system and it's brought through all of the information from the web form. And I can see now with automations, it's automatically sent out an email to the lead, thanking them for their inquiry. So what we want to do now is move it to the arrange call stage. Uh, we're going to connect here an activity. So we need to call the, the lead to discuss their inquiry. So I can call the lead. Uh, once I've done that, I can then add some activity and information about the call. OK, so I can store all of this information in here. And what's really nice is I can tag my colleagues. So if I wanted to, maybe if my manager was asking about this lead, I could tag them in the comments so they're notified about that latest communication that's taken place. And I'm going to follow up with this lead as well. So through email this time, I've had a call. Let's now send them an email. And you could have your own templates set up here, or, or you could manually type out the email as well. Okay, so we're going to send the email out through here. Also possible to integrate SMS providers if you if you use SMS. So there are different options to integrate SMS providers into the system using the marketplace. So there are third party integrations that you can use to connect or we use Twilio, for example. So there is the option to send SMS messages, which is an additional integration instead of email, if that's your preference as well. So we can see some activities and tasks. So we're going to mark these off now that we've had a conversation with the lead. And I'm happy now that we've completed say a second call so i'm going to add some more information okay so the the lead now would like a quote so let's now move this over to a deal so we can move this through now complete all of the activities and all of this history here so we've got a lot of information now emails comments and stage changes all of this history we can filter through. So if you needed to drill down into any of this information, you've got the filtering tools to be able to do that. And then I can complete the lead. And through here, what I want to do is I've got some contact information. So I want to generate a deal and a contact. And let's say they're interested in going to Kenya. So we can move this into the Kenya pipeline. OK, so that's now going to generate a deal and a contact inside the system. OK, so from there, it's generated us the contact and the deal inside the system. So what we can now do is we can progress the deal through the different stages. I can add our products. OK, so we've added this information into our order.
Okay, and then from there, we're going to generate a quote for our client. So pull through the information, I'm going to generate the quotes, and then we're going to send this out via an email directly through the Bittrex system. So essentially, you can manage the whole sales process inside Bittrex 24. There's no need to be going externally to any other systems or emails. Everything could be encompassed inside your Bittrex system. So I can send this quote. It's going to attach the quote to the email. Okay, so that's now been sent out here. So I can send this to the client. And then once that quote has been approved, we can then generate an invoice inside the system. And that will all connect back into the customer's page. So once that's been completed, I'm going to generate an invoice. And again, you can upload your own invoice templates. So we've seen how we can generate quote templates. We can do the exact same with invoices. So once that's been sent to the customer, I'm going to complete the invoice and mark that as paid. And all of this information connects back with the contact. So if I click into the contact, once that invoice has been processed, I can see the invoice has connected inside the client's page. So you have that complete history connected back with your client inside the system. Okay, so moving on quickly to look at reporting. So there are many different ways we can do reports inside the Bittrex 24 CRM system. So first of all, one of the most powerful ways I, I would say, and really visually it's really valuable to use, is the Kanban view inside deals. Because if you're going to add values to your deals, as we mentioned, as you progress the deal through different stages, this is going to automatically update the value at that stage. So that's really, really powerful for forecasting so that you can see all of the value there inside the stages. But you can also use lists. So lists allow you to really customize the table of information here. So I could change the layout here and the structure of this information. So I might want certain information to show here. And then from here, what I can then do is I could export this information out of Bittrex. Okay, so I could get the information exactly how I need it to look and then export it out of the system. Then we also have an analytics module. So all of the data from the CRM system, it will pull into here. So we can build dashboard reports of the CRM data. So here I can see the performance of our employees who have been working on leads inside the CRM. So I can see how many leads they've had, how many have converted to deals, how many have then gone on to be completed and won deals, so I can see their conversion rates. But we could also maybe set sales targets for our team. So you can see how well they're tracking to performance levels. We could look at our top grossing clients. So you can build dashboard reports to look at the maybe the, the overview of who are your most purchasing clients and in terms of value and spend. And you can also build your own dashboard reports inside the system here as well. So there's lots of different ways you can build reports into the system. And we also have a, a brand new reporting tool called Views. So this is a, an external tool that we can and take data from Bittrex to allow you to build reports from scratch. So if you're interested in that, please do contact us sales at interface.com and one of our team can discuss our external reporting tool as well with you in more detail. Okay, so now just to briefly talk about some of the we, we, some of the differences between the cloud and the self-hosted, we have already mentioned quite a few times in the webinar today about limitations on the cloud system. So in, in terms of smart process automation, in terms of using automation rules on leads and deals, if you're on a free or a basic cloud, then you're going to be very restricted. Even on a basic cloud, you can't even you, you can't use leads on the system. So really to get any power out of the CRM system, you need to be on a professional cloud license as a bare minimum. 
all of the self-hosted systems have the complete CRM package. So if you're on a self-hosted system, you will have all of the functionality in the system. Both include custom record layouts. Um, and with the self-hosted system, it is possible to customize really to the greatest level because we have access to the source code. So we could build additional dashboards. You could build integrations with other systems to maybe feed information into Bittrex or trigger workflows through the system. So if you want to have the most advanced CRM system, the self-hosted system is the way to go to have access to the full API and the source code. Okay, so into, in summary of today's next level CRM webinar, we've seen how we can use leads and deals to complete an uh, automated process. So using automations, you can streamline the sales process. And essentially with the Bittrex CRM system, especially if you have the SPA feature on the professional cloud plan or above, you have complete customization of the CRM system, even with the ability to create your own brand new entities inside the CRM. You can communicate with multiple channels. So we've seen how we can use Facebook, live chat, Instagram, telephony, email. Really the number of communication channels is endless. So we can feed those into the CRM system. And importantly, you get that 360 degree view of communication with your customers. And then we're seeing how we can do high level dashboard reports based on the data from the CRM system. So it's very easy to see why the Bittrex CRM system is voted within the top 10 CRM systems globally. And in terms of price and in terms of how quickly you can implement a CRM system, there really is no other CRM system that has a, such a value within the CRM market. Okay, so thank you for joining today's Next Level CRM webinar. Here are a section of our up and coming webinars. We are here every other Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. If you want to register for those webinars, please do go to intraface.com forward slash webinars where you can register. But if you have any questions before the next webinar, please do contact us sales at intraface.com. One of our team will be happy to arrange a call with you to discuss your requirements in more detail. Okay, thank you very much for your time today. Hope you found the Next Level CRM webinar useful, and I look forward to seeing you all soon on our up-and-coming webinars. Bye for now.